representatives of Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Finland, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's indeed an immense pleasure to be with you here today to celebrate jointly the National Days of Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Finland. On behalf of His Excellency President Mahmoud Abbas, I'm delighted to extend the sincerest congratulations to Your Excellencies, Your Governments, and the peoples of your friendly countries on your national days. On these auspicious occasions, I wish your friendly countries and your friendly peoples abundant prosperity, continued peace, and tremendous success. Remarkably and interestingly, the heads of the diplomatic missions of Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Finland to Palestine are all women. Your experiences can be inspiring to our Palestinian people, especially our young women, and the motivation for their active political participation and engagement. We strongly believe that women's political participation is a fundamental prerequisite for gender equality and genuine democracy. Your countries strongly support human rights and gender equality. Internationally, you are leading representatives and advocates of human rights and the strong defenders of human rights, especially women's rights. Our leadership and the government are very committed to removing any obstacles hindering the political participation of Palestinian women and to protect and promote human rights as a core pillar of our policy. I would like to seize this great opportunity to thank your countries for the firm and continued support to our legitimate rights of peace, freedom, and independence. It is also our sincere hope that your firm support will be further manifested, similar to the well-appreciated stance of the Kingdom of Sweden in the full recognition of the independent and sovereign state of Palestine along the 67 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital. We welcome the recent adoption of the resolution on the protection of the Palestinian people in the United Nations General Assembly with a vast majority including your countries. We view this resolution and your continued support as a good opportunity for an immediate international intervention in order to deter Israel and protect international and regional peace. It is regrettable that the United States has decided to withdraw from the United Nations Human Rights Council. It is saddening that the U.S. pulls out from an international body which plays a very important role in the promotion and protection of human rights worldwide. We highly appreciate your generous support for our human development efforts in Palestine and the implementation of pivotal projects, especially supporting our people in Gaza, East Jerusalem, and the area sea of the West Bank, including the Jordan Valley. We also appreciate your generous and unwavering support for UNRWA, thus enabling the international agency to continue providing the necessary services to our refugees. Our deep thanks go to Norway for chairing the AHLC, as well as its pivotal role in coordinating the efforts of the donor countries. I also wanted to thank Sweden for generously supporting UNRWA and for organizing the UNRWA's fundraising conference held in Rome in past March with the important presence of both Finland and Denmark. We are appreciative of your support to our state building endeavors and our pursuit for the realization of the two state solution. We are also committed to building and solidifying our public institutions based on the rule of law, human rights, and in the, in the spirit of culture of tolerance, coexistence, and peace. I would like to assert that the law is above all including the security officers, and we reject any violation of the freedom of expression which has been guaranteed by the Palestinian basic law. I look forward to many years of strengthening and enriching our various ties of cooperation and to invest abundantly in peace and stability in our region. I once again, and on behalf of President Abbas, convey my best wishes the peoples of your friendly countries for continued prosperity, success, 
accomplishment and well-being. Thank you very much.